It's Tuesday, October 1st, 2013. I'm Katie Drummond, and an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Unless you're a diabetic who's been eating a lot of apples. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Well, it finally happened. After many threats and warnings, the government has shut down. Starting today, nearly 40% of the U.S. government's civilian workforce are being required not to work. Government agencies like NASA and the Environmental Protection Agency will see over 90% of their employees forced out of work. It's unclear how long the government shutdown will last, but the last time this happened, it was 1995 and the government was closed for a record-breaking 21 days. The government may be closing its doors, but Rockstar is just opening the doors to Grand Theft Auto Online. The highly anticipated multiplayer feature to GTA 5 launched today. The online mode did unfortunately experience some expected server issues, including the inability to access Grand Theft Auto Online at all for some players. So it won't be long before my gang, the Molecules, are up and running at full speed. And finally, J.J. Abrams knows about his lens flare and he's sorry for it. In an interview with Crave Online, the Star Trek director apologized for the overuse of his signature effect in his films. Abrams even admitted to hiring post-production house ILM to take out some of the flair in an early cut of Star Trek Into Darkness. I don't know, is it really that? Oh my God, my eyes! And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I review the modernized remake of The Graduate. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. On Snapchat? <laughs>